And we are back once again to Slime Isekai Memories. Alright, so today we are doing summons on Summer Memories, part 1, 2, and 3. So let's get a good look at these units. It's the Shizu from the story event. Shizu's Seaside School. Looking beautiful. That's some great art, and I really like those animations, her using the umbrella as a weapon. <laughs> oh my god, they know what they're doing with those animations. For a trainee. Pretty good animations for both of them. I really like Milam surfing, because that's pretty cool. And trainee? I mean... <laughs> you guys should already know about trainee. And here's Luminous. Boom! Just destroys them. I think that one's kind of cool and sexy. I really like her outfit. As I said in the story event, if you watch that, it's kind of like a maid slash goth Lolita vibes. But I think that one was just like badass and sexy, just seeing the animations together. But yeah, let's get into the summons after we check out the unit's details a bit. So, the battle characters Summer Radiance Shizu Izawa. She got Adventure, Summer Memories, and Heart of the Hero. Or Heart of a Hero. Unleashes a single target fire physical attack for 490 normal damage. Use 200% for 1.5 damage. And she does 735 when doing the full thing. Skill. Uh, points required, 65. Increase all allies' weakness strike by 50% turns 2. Uh, changes soul of combos 1 into soul of divine protection for this turn only. Increase all soul of divine protection gauges increased by 5%. Turn one. Valor trait. You can check that out. If you care, you care. If you have 50% or more HP, increase your own pierce power by 7% at the start of the turn. Available during support formation. Yeah, if you have 50% or more, increase your own pierce power by 10%. Increase secret skill damage by 20. And individual mercy. Once again, needing a Rimuru. Increase Peach power by 8%. Stone Falling Staff Accordance, 360, 1080, and therefore defense. And Shuna is her side banner. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> New Milam Nava. <laughs> That art of Milam looks pretty good. Summer Memories, Octogram, Demon Lord, and Dragon Hockey. Drago Splash. Unleashes an all target dark physical attack for 300% normal damage. Decrease the all target's physical attack resistance 15% one turn. Uses 200% of secret skill gauge to EX soul of combos damage times two so 600 points required 25 increase own attack by 20% two turns 
increase its own dark attack by 25% two turns. Uh, points required, 35. Transfer all Soul of Divine Protection to self. Increase Soul of Divine Protection Secret Skill Gauge. Increase by 10% one turn. There's the Valor Traits. When you unleash a 6 combo attack with Soul of Divine Protection, Increase own attack by 5% for the next turn. Available in support formation. When you unleash a 6 combo attack, uh, divine protection, increase own attack by 8%. Oh, okay. For a second I got a little confused, so 20% more secret skill damage. Once again. Oh no. Individual mercy but remorous. Instead of Rimaru. She gets those stats increase. Increases damage done by Summer Memories forces to light attribute enemies by 60%. Increase Commander and Summer Memories force characters attack and defense by 20%. Summer Odyssey support max. Increase Commander and Summer Memory characters attack by 7%. And then... Changes all souls newly added to the hand to Soul of Divine Protection, turn 1. Decrease all targets defense by 30% one turn and increase skill points by 40. Now, Valor... When 3 Vanguard has 75% or more HP, increase all physical attack by 5% at the start of the turn. And then it's increase 8 when you have 6 star awaken. Increase divine protection. And now we just need to look at Luminous. Luminous Valentine. I really do like how she uses Katana. I didn't think that would be her weapon of choice. Horses. Summer Memory is Goddess of Destiny and Octogram Demon Lord. Unleashes an all target fire physical attack for 300% normal damage. Increases all allies uh, physical attack by 5% one turn and then 200% damage. Or, yeah, double damage when reach 200. So, for 600 damage, skill details. Points required, 65. Increase fire and dark attribute, solo combos damage by 50%. Effects increase by 10% each time allies use protection skills, max of 100. Decrease all targets fire resistance, dark resistance by 5% turn 1. Summeritude Allure, level 1. Points required by 35%. Increase all soul of divine protection damage by 60% turn 2. Enamors a single target, turn 2. Increase the secret skill gauge of the vanguard allies by the end of the enemy's turn by 15%. There's a Valor. She gets critical up. And yeah, for one, has 6 combo, 8%, and 12%. By 20, and she needs Ramorous. For that 8% of critical. And she gets 90, 40, and 24. Damn, not that many points in compared to the other guys. But alright. Enough enough of that. So yep. first summon on her. Okay, we got the afternoon. Or not afternoon. Uh, I forget what's called. Dawn? Or sundown. Come on, my first summon in a while. Ooh. Man, I swear, it usually takes me like a couple of weeks before I come back to this game to summon. And game always kind of wants to disappoint me a little bit. It's like, we got nothing for you here. Can we 
got absolutely nothing for you. Disgusting. Yep. Only two gold in that. Just a bunch of silver. Damn. Ooh, okay. Immeasurable energy. Who is it? Milam? Uh, Trainee? I'm hoping more of Trainee. I have some summer characters, and so Trainee would be a very good fit on the team. Like, aside from Belzer, I don't have that many... Like, faction units? Like, I forget what it's called right now. Ooh, who is it? It's coming of a new age. Oh. Okay, it's Milan. Not bad. I swear. I swear to these developers. Alright. Come on, double. Please. A secret. Give me one at the end. Ah, damn it. Only Melon, though. Still good. Good for my... Like, only getting it on the free tickets. Also... I just want to see. Alright, so these are a free summon that I can do for these. Yeah, include that. High density energy detected. Oi, oi, oi. Ah, no animations. No nothing. Well, still, even though this video is still successful, I mean, getting at least one character is all you ever really want. And plus, I'm summoning on three different banners. And not even doing that many summons on all three banners. Like, I would say if there's a unit I really want, it would either be Trainee, and then it would be Luminous. And then it would probably go... Milam and Shizu are, like, tied for me. In really wanting them. Hi, Density. Ooh, okay. Another immeasurable energy. Come on, Shizu! Ah, oh, first one. I'm a summon. Okay, right, Shizu. Great, we got two. We're having like a sad monologue and then getting this unit. It's like that's kind of surprising. It's like, why would they put something so depressing and then having this sexy version of Shizu be saying that? Like, that's what I would expect the normal Shizu to have. Oh, I was about to say, did we get a rare nothing? Like, that was the first time I ever saw that. Basically, the game being glitched to where nothing appeared. Ooh, a second! I'm a bodyguard to Great Rima. I'm also a secretary. Damn! I also get another one. Oh my god. Since this is my first time getting... This Xion, I did not know she had some, uh, 
some <laughs> jiggling animations. And that kissing at the end, oh my god. Come on. A third. Come on, good things come in three. Ah, good things didn't come in three, but at least they came in a pair. I got the headliner unit, and I got a pretty old unit that I didn't have. Hi, density energy detected, and no immeasurable energy this time. Disappointing game. This all pointing. And then boom! Damn. I was summoning one of these characters to appear out of nowhere. Just like how they summon other worlders in slime. I was like, rise forth. Bring me some good luck. And they said, screw you. No good luck. Alright, I think this is gonna be... well... No, actually... The first before the last. Yep, nothing. If I didn't get any animation, I was expecting anything. Alright, it's just daytime. So really nothing is expected here. No fighting, no nothing. Ah, yeah. Of course, that one's gonna be so disappointing. One of the main waifus that I wanted. No! It's so weird. Like... The main, main ones that I wanted, I didn't get, but I got both of the other two that I, not gonna say didn't want, but it's like they were lower on the priority list, and somehow I get these other ones. Like, they're, they're saying, you're wanting stuff, boy? Well, here's some other stuff. All right, checking out the hall. So these guys have some more dupes. Three. All right, got them. Got some more dupes for those guys. And I'm trying to find where are they? I think they're all the way down here. Yep, down here. So, I got three brand new characters. Two of them were headliners for these banners. And I did that in four... No, six summons. <laughs> and they were mostly free summons. Well, exactly half of them were free summons. The other half is how much I paid. But, you know, that's a win overall. Like, I would say this is very successful. Getting a bunch of units I didn't already have, and getting a bunch of dupes to hopefully make some other team stronger. But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my summons on Slime Isekai Memories. If you guys did, please make sure to follow me on all my social medias, like my Twitter, my Twitch, my YouTube, my DLive, my TikTok, my Kick, Rumble, Odyssey, and Daily Motion. Make sure to check out my second YouTube channel, and make sure to like and comment on all my videos, and even join my Discord. There you can stay up to date with everything I choose to do, or my streams, videos, or anything else. Yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!